The Battle of Tali Kota, fought on January 26, 1565, was a pivotal event in the history of India, marking the end of the powerful Vijayanagara Empire and a significant shift in the balance of power in South India. This battle, fought between the forces of the Vijayanagara Empire and an alliance of Deccan sultanates, namely Bijapur, Golconda, Ahmadnagar, and Baidar, was characterized by its scale, brutality, and far-reaching consequences. The intricate political maneuvers, military strategies, and the dramatic fall of Vijayanagara make this battle a significant chapter in the annals of Indian history. The Vijayanagara Empire, founded in 1336 by Harihara and Bukharaya, had risen to become one of the most prosperous and powerful states in southern India. It was renowned for its flourishing trade, grand architecture, and cultural achievements. The empire had successfully resisted invasions from the northern sultanates for centuries, maintaining its sovereignty and expanding its territory. By the mid-16th century, under the rule of Aliya Ramaraya, the empire had reached the zenith of its power. However, Ramaraya's ambitious policies and his interference in the politics of the Deccan sultanates sowed the seeds of discord that would eventually lead to the Battle of Talikota. Aliya Ramaraya, the regent of Vijayanagara, was a shrewd and ambitious leader. His military prowess and strategic acumen had helped him maintain Vijayanagara's dominance in the region. However, his assertive policies and his manipulation of the internal affairs of the Deccan sultanates earned him the enmity of these states. Ramaraya's strategy of playing the sultanates against each other eventually backfired, leading to the formation of a formidable alliance against Vijayanagara. The alliance comprised the sultanates of Bijapur, Golconda, Ahmadnagar, and Baidar, which set aside their differences to confront the common threat posed by Vijayanagara. The stage for the Battle of Talikota was set by a series of political and military developments. Ramaraya's interference in the affairs of the sultanates, his support for certain factions within these states, and his aggressive expansionist policies created a sense of urgency among the sultanates to unite against Vijayanagara. The immediate cause of the conflict was Ramaraya's attempt to install a puppet ruler in the Sultanate of Ahmadnagar, which alarmed the other sultanates and spurred them into forming a coalition. The alliance, known as the Deccan Confederacy, decided to confront Ramaraya's forces at Talikota, a town strategically located near the Krishna River. As the battle approached, both sides prepared for a decisive confrontation. The Vijayanagara army, led by Ramaraya and his two brothers, Tiramala and Venkatadri, was a formidable force, comprising well-trained infantry, cavalry, and war elephants. The army was supported by artillery and a fleet of ships on the Krishna River. On the other side, the combined forces of the sultanates were no less impressive. The Deccan Confederacy's army was composed of seasoned warriors from Bijapur, Golconda, Ahmadnagar, and Baidar, and was led by their respective sultans. The Allied forces were well coordinated and determined to break Vijayanagara's hegemony. On the morning of January 26, 1565, the two armies faced each other on the plains of Talikota. The battle began with a fierce exchange of artillery fire, followed by cavalry charges and infantry engagements. The Vijayanagara army initially gained the upper hand, utilizing its superior numbers and disciplined formations. Ramaraya, confident of victory, commanded his troops from an elevated position, overseeing the battlefield. However, as the day progressed, the tide of battle began to turn. The turning point came when two key commanders in the Vijayanagara army, the Jalani brothers, who were of Persian origin and had been in the service of Vijayanagara, defected to the enemy. Their betrayal was a significant blow to the Vijayanagara forces, creating confusion and disarray in the ranks. The Deccan Confederacy, seizing the opportunity, launched a coordinated assault on the weakened Vijayanagara lines. The Sultanate's cavalry, led by skilled commanders, penetrated deep into the Vijayanagara formations, causing heavy casualties and disrupting their command structure. In the chaos of battle, Ramaraya was captured by the enemy forces. The aging regent was brought before the Sultan of Ahmadnagar, Hussein Nizam Shah, who ordered his execution. Ramaraya's death was a devastating blow to the morale of the Vijayanagara troops. Leaderless and demoralized, the Vijayanagara army began to disintegrate. The sultanates pressed their advantage, 
inflicting a crushing defeat on the remnants of the Vijayanagara forces. The aftermath of the Battle of Talikota was catastrophic for the Vijayanagara Empire. The victorious sultanates marched on the capital city of Vijayanagara, known for its opulent palaces, grand temples, and bustling bazaars. The city, once a symbol of South Indian prosperity and power, was subjected to a systematic and brutal sack. Temples were desecrated, treasures plundered, and the city was set ablaze. The destruction of Vijayanagara was so thorough that it never regained its former glory. The empire, which had dominated South India for over two centuries, was irreparably weakened. The fall of Vijayanagara marked a significant shift in the political landscape of South India. The sultanates of the Deccan, having eliminated a powerful rival, consolidated their territories and influence. The vacuum left by Vijayanagara's decline was gradually filled by regional powers including the emerging Marathas. The battle also highlighted the fragile nature of alliances and the destructive consequences of political manipulation and betrayal. The Battle of Talikota and its aftermath had profound cultural and social implications as well. The destruction of Vijayanagara, a hub of Hindu culture and learning, was a significant loss to South Indian heritage. The city's temples, libraries, and centers of art and music were lost to the ravages of war. The displacement of people and the breakdown of social order in the region had long-term effects on the demographic and economic fabric of South India. Historians and scholars have extensively studied the Battle of Talikota, analyzing its causes, the strategies employed, and its impact on the course of Indian history. The battle is often seen as a turning point that marked the decline of Hindu political dominance in the region and the rise of Islamic sultanates. It also serves as a case study in the complexities of medieval Indian politics, where alliances were fluid and power dynamics were constantly shifting. In conclusion, the Battle of Talikota was a watershed moment in the history of India. The fall of the Vijayanagara Empire, precipitated by this brutal and decisive conflict, reshaped the political and cultural landscape of South India. The hidden facts of betrayal, the strategic maneuvers, and the catastrophic consequences of the battle reveal the intricate and often brutal nature of medieval Indian warfare and politics. The legacy of the Battle of Talikota continues to be a subject of fascination and reflection, reminding us of the impermanence of empires and the enduring impact of historical events on the course of human civilization.